How's it going everybody? Andrew aka Yami Doppelganger here bringing you a video today that's going to dive into a project I've been working on for a little bit now. I've just been planning it out and I think it's going to be really special. It's something that's very niche but I think a lot of people who own the Vip Pillin or Spark Pillin series will really appreciate it today. Now I know I'm not Papa Yam. I know this isn't a spicy Ducati in front of me right now but today we're going to be trading in those Italian meatballs for some Swedish ones. Today we're building the custom Husky. Let's get into it. Now before I film today's episode, I want to give a special shout out to Hickory Union Moto. That's where I'll be filming this episode. It's a workshop in Kansas City where you can bring your bike, put it up on a lift, borrow some tools, and hang out with some cool people who are building their bikes too. Second shout out goes to Cooper, who was nice enough to send us the full exhaust kit that they make for this bike. Now this was a product that was really hard to track down, and I hadn't had any luck finding anything like close to this until I came across their product. So we gave them a shout out and they were nice enough to provide us with the parts that we needed to put a full, nice, straight pipe on this bike. It's gonna sound great, it's gonna give some extra power, and I cannot wait to put it on this bike. In addition to the full exhaust kit, you're gonna be seeing some new things going to this bike too to make it a little bit more dirt friendly, we'll say. It's gonna be getting new tires, new turn signals in the back, headlight cover, engine guards. It's gonna get the full makeover. Bike edition. Nice. So with that being said, I think it's time for a montage. Okay guys, before we jump into adding all the mods here, I just had to take a quick ride on the stock fit Pellant 401. I uh, just want to, you know, feel it out. I feel like I'm saying goodbye to this bike, you know, since I'm basically brand new performance parts in this thing, and I know aesthetic as well, so by the end, I think this thing will feel and kind of look like a whole new bike, so just wanted to get this last ride in, just, you know, for sentimental reasons. You know, starting off, uh, you know, I'd always say the stock fit pillin and Spark pillins are just great performance-wise, as is straight out of the factory. Um, although, you know, if you've ridden other bikes before them, uh, even more powerful ones, you'll notice they do feel a little repressed and sound a little repressed too, just with the exhaust system. So that's the main reason for me putting the new pipe on, uh, just for performance and sound. Uh, you know, but all right, I'm going to do a little zero to 60 here in a second, and, you know, I it, it definitely will get you going. It'll, you know, do what it needs to. You can definitely take it on the highway. That's always a question for, you know, anything that under a 500cc bike, but there is really no problem keeping up with other bikes or cars, you know, on the highway with the VIT or the Spark Pillin. You know, and looks-wise too, I know that, you know, stylistically, the Vip Pillin comes out of the factory more of like a cafe racer with the clip-ons and kind of more of a aggressive seating style or ergonomics, but for me personally, I like to be a little bit more upright, you know, coming from my good old Adventure Boy days, so, you know, I definitely prefer the handlebars to be a little bit more straight and not the clip-ons, you know, I, that's why I traded them with my friend, actually, we did the whole handlebar swap in the first place. Uh, just to kind of get back to that performance of more of an adventure style bike. And with that being said, I think it's time to head into the shop and start off this montage of transforming the good old Vip Pillin to a brand new custom Husky. Let's get to it. So, so far, all I've done is aesthetic things. I've added the new mirrors on either side. I've added a tank bag, which I'm really going to like. It's going to add a lot of storage and it's magnetic. And now I'm going to do a unique ad of the Fender Rise. So it's this guy named Project. Uh, I think he's based out of Michigan. And he has these 3D printed parts, which when you attach it to the forks, it raises the fender. It's going to be pretty unique looking. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be, but it looks cool, so I wanted to try it. And after that, I'm going to get to the exhaust. Got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'm going to let out the... Let out the... Let out the... Big shoes, check out the creep. All right guys, now we're to the fun part. It's the whole exhaust system. So right here in my hand, I have the Cooper header pipe that they sent us. It bypasses the catalytic converter. And in addition to that, I have the Competition Works chamber delete. So combined, these things are gonna be a straight pipe coming straight from the engine. It's gonna be super loud, tons of power. 
In addition to all of that, I have the wiring harness, which I have to put on too. That might be either a part two or tomorrow that I have to get to that just because looking at the instructions, it's pretty intense. However, Cooper did outline a pretty thorough diagram of the whole process, so should be getting to it. So I actually didn't get a chance to record most of the exhaust replacement and wiring harness installation just because, you know, the process, you really do need two hands to kind of rip out the old exhaust, you know, in this whole process. And with the wiring harness, it was pretty straightforward, but honestly, a lot of the angles, you know, getting in there with both, you know, your hands is pretty tight spaces. So you really just need to be focused on the task at hand. I just didn't have a chance to set up the camera in certain angles to show the process. But thankfully, again, you know, as I stated before, Cooper really took the time to set up their diagrams in a really straightforward way for beginners or anyone who hasn't had to worry about, you know, setting up a new wiring harness on their motorcycle before. So go ahead and follow those instructions if you get this piece. Again, with the exhaust, you know, ripping the old one out, it really takes some grit, you know. It took a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of swearing, I'll say. A lot of uh, just using full grit and force, just pulling that thing out of there. And, but once you do, and you know, putting the new pipe in along with the new competition works, chamber delete, you know, it's all pretty straightforward and all fits really well together. So hats off to Cooper for making the straightforward process and really well laid out diagram. And with that wrapped up, I think it's time for the big reveal. Okay, time to take this out uh, for a little test ride. This is the first ride on the new custom Husky. Uh, I'll just keep calling it that until it sticks, I guess, but man, this thing is powerful so far. Just listen to this. Ooh, man. I am in love again with this bike. Holy cow. Man, just going off the butt dyno with this thing. Oh, God, it feels at least like five horsepower. I, I can't even... Man, just <laughs> running out of words to say. I can't even think what to say right now. It feels like a whole new brand new bike. I, I can't even... Oh, I'm out of words. Okay, give me a second here. Oh, just the turn angle too. Holy cow. Yeah, okay, with these tires, that's one thing I'll go over in the wrap-up, but the profile of these tires compared to the stock ones are way more rounded. Um, this, yeah, this thing wants to flick in the corners so much faster, uh, which is kind of a little off-putting at first. Um, I know I'm gonna get used to it and kind of feel it out for where that point is on it, but man, yeah, when you're just riding this thing around, it's it, it's ready to turn. It'll definitely want to go farther than I think I'm ready to right now. But yeah, oh, oh, here we go. A little off-road patch. All right, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, these things, these definitely dig in the dirt. That's gonna be fun for later too. And that's why I got them. That's why you get off-road tires, guys. You can have little patches of dirt like that whenever you want. Yeah, it just even man, aesthetics, you know, from the, you know, I guess cockpit or whatever you want to call it, driver's seat, this thing is, it feels so much different, you know, with the fender that's like risen now with the handlebar uh, mirrors, you know, on both sides of me. And with this tank bag, you know, I have storage right in front of me now. I don't have to worry about bringing a bag with me everywhere and kind of utilizing, you know, this massive amount of tank space in front of me for storage now. It's really nice. And then once I get these engine guards too, you can kind of use them as, you know, whatever the cruiser boys would use, I guess, for stretching your legs out, I guess. But yeah, we'll see how those work out once I get those on too. Man, yeah, overall, man, I think it's time to head into a little wrap-up here, but uh, man, I, whew, hopefully I'll have words for it by then. Well, 
That officially completes the new custom Husky build. Oh man, this thing feels so much better than the stock. I mean, we say that this is like the best beginner bike, you know, as is to begin with, just because it's, you know, very powerful already. Uh, not too heavy, it's a nice, you know, seat heist, everything like that. But when you add a couple mods to this thing, just like a new pipes and new aesthetic things, it feels like a brand new bike. And it feels, I would say, on the 701's level. I know, obviously the 701 is a lot more horsepower, pretty much almost double the stock, but just the new pipe on this thing, just let alone with the weight, you know, you're saving on taking off the chamber and the, you know, the regular exhaust pipe with the cats on it. It's just, whew, it's beyond words. I don't know, I'm so happy with this thing. Uh, you know, pros going into this, it feels like a brand new bike, obviously, as I've stated. You know, you got the brand new mirrors, storage on top of the tank, you know, less fender weight, less chamber weight, you know, coming from pretty much the whole exhaust system that came with the cats and the chamber and everything like that, that was adding a ton of weight and a lot of repression on power. Um, the cons though, the only thing that I don't know if it was an oversight, you know, just on Cooper, if they just used the 2018 model, 2019 model, instead of a 2020 model for measuring their actual power commander unit, the new ECU, uh, it didn't actually fit underneath the seat as is. So it's actually strapped to the frame right now on the side. Uh, but I did order a new lithium battery, so hopefully when that arrives, it'll fit in there underneath the seat with it. But that's pretty much the only downside to anything, you know, besides some blood, sweat, and occasional cursing, you know, just wrenching those parts off. You know, it, it was a really smooth process. I did the whole thing in two days. Uh, can't really complain. You know, I had help from the guys that Hickory Union Moto and putting on these new tires. The only thing uh, about the tires that I'll say too is that they're a different profile. They're actually more rounded than the stock profile uh, of the tires that come with the bike. So, you know, going into corners, it's, you know, it can tell you really wants to lean way more over and it'll flick over way more easier than the original tires will too. But it does grab dirt a lot easier than it used to. So can't wait to take this thing on some gravel roads and a little fellow biker just went by there. I can hear them in the distance, but man, I just, I can't wait to ride this thing more and, you know, really just kind of become a little bit more of a squid with it because it, it just wants to pop up so much easier now. It's a lot louder. Stay tuned for possible more updates on parts I'm adding to this thing that I haven't already. Uh, still have to put on the new engine guards and the new headlight cover, uh, which I didn't get to on this build, but will in the future. But either way, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you sticking around for the whole process and hopefully you liked it. And we'll see you all next episode. Wow, look how pretty this is. You know what else is pretty? My beautiful face and this next Yammy Noob video. Click it right over here and check it out for yourself. There's fun memes in it, maybe Hayabusa's, maybe some cool stuff. There's only one way to find out. Click that video. Do it now.